generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator. Today's beverage is a nice traditional cup of tea. Very nice indeed. So in the previous episode of Power Wash Simulator, we finished off the playground, which was a very intricate job. And although it was 500 generic units of currency, I spent a lot on cleaner. So we haven't got a great amount. We also then did the golf cart, which was a very, very easy job and very quick one as well. So pretty happy with that. In this one, we're going to have a look at the bungalow. This is 113 Apple Avenue in Muckingham, because that's where we are based. So, hey, Doc, you know I mentioned my folks were... Well, oh, this is from uh, Calvin Miller. Well, I think it's time the bungalow met your pressure washer. It's so filthy and hard to tell where the ground ends and the house begins. When I mentioned you to Ma, her eyes lit up. Pops moaned and said the, uh, the browner the porch, the warmer the torch, which clearly means nothing, so he's overruled. I've never heard that. Um, if you can give the place a good clean up, I'm sure it'd give them both a lift. Thanks again, Cal. Start job. So let's just see what we have in store. So we'll take a look at the job first. We'll have a quick scoot around and see what we can find. And then, yeah, we'll work on from that. And, all oh, right. So immediately I'm seeing that this is, well, it's dirty. That's the obvious thing. Uh, the garden is quite a nice bit of a cottage garden thing going on. Just going to have a quick look around the property before we start anything. We've got, obviously, front and back entrances, we've got the glass there as well, and lots and lots of muck. I can imagine the neighbours probably are not overly happy with the state of this thing. So, oh, and there's a cat on the on the roof over there. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can scare the cat off. Okay, uh, fair enough. What I was trying to do there is seeing if uh, that nozzle will do anything to windows. Right, let's go ahead and begin the cleaning. So I think I'm going to probably cut in the windows first. So it actually said graffiti there as well, so I don't know what the deal is here. So let's just go ahead and clean all these windows. So it's obviously... Oh, this is, this is really, really caked on. Is that a shadow? Dolores, so glad you're here. Calvin's such a good boy. He's a volcanologist, you know. So he knows about Star Trek. Let's just get this window sorted. Wow. That dirt uh, ain't going away. <laughs> it is now. There we go. And then there's a window for him. I'm going to... Uh, just probably stick with this. So it looks like there's going to be multiple layers of uh, dirt. I might as well do the whole door while I'm here. So we'll give it a once over with the with the 15 degree nozzle. That'll get, I would assume, the majority of this muck off. Which it looks like it is. And then we'll switch over to the zero degree and then we get that yeah that seems to be the way forward so we'll do the windows you can see it's very easy to quickly just go through them like this doesn't take long at all to zip through it but then we have to switch over to the other one like there then we'll switch down to that and then getting all the corners can't imagine the neighbours, as I said, are quite happy with what's uh, gone on here. Let's try this garage door, why not? And... Seems to be not too much of a problem. It's coming up a treat. So we'll put a stem bit more in the middle. Gives it more even coverage. As we go towards the bottom, though... There's a lot more dirt there. Well, it doesn't seem to really impede the progress of the cleaning. So, where's the garage door? Oh, yeah, that's classic garage door as well. Okay, fair enough. I thought that would be a frame, like a separate one, but apparently not. go there's the garage door yeah it comes up nicely okay we'll continue on with the cleaning of the windows and of the doors so zip through them down I use the 
the zero degree highest pressure nozzle on the glass and it didn't break it like it did in the demo. So I don't know whether or not that's a, that's a thing anymore. Maybe you need a more powerful pressure washer, who knows. This window, we'll have to switch down. There we are. Now there's that door as well. I don't know how they've managed to get it in this state. <laughs> Severe neglect is the obvious answer. Do the window frame while I'm here as well. Why not? Should probably done it on the front of the house as well, but we'll come back to that. I'm guessing, yeah, right underneath here. That's that frame done. Down to our spiral nozzle, zero degree. I'm not too sure how I feel about that nozzle. It's it's good. It does the job. But I don't know if I just prefer the precision of the standard nozzle. I don't know. I guess it's better for maybe catching areas that you're not right on, so it has its advantages and disadvantages, I guess. I'm hoping we see more types of, like, cleaning and nozzles and, like, I wonder if, like, they're going to put, like, hot water in, like, will that be is that better than what we're using? Who knows? Like, driveway cleaners, like, like paths and such, that would be good. I'm just going to work over this side. Yeah, there we are. And that's done. And oh, there is one here as well. I'm not looking forward to cleaning this roof. <laughs> yeah. Not looking forward to that at all. But it's so satisfying when you see that all oh, that muck come off there. That's great. Nice. Nice. Go underneath. Is that window frame done? Switch to the spiralinator. Five million. And there's that done. We're going to clean the frames because it's something I didn't do when I was up here. Even though I should have done. You live and learn. And it's not a matter of life or death, so that's fine. And just here, and there we go, that's done. We'll do the door frame as well. And there's been several comments uh, and people saying, oh yeah, it's a bit like uh, this carrier cleanup detail. And I understand what they're saying in terms of theme, I would agree. Well, in terms of like the overall idea, rather than, rather than theme, because theme is like horribleness in that game, we've got bodies and all sorts. Um, and, you know, people say, oh, it wouldn't be really good if it would be, if you had, like, you know, if we, I haven't cleaned this, for example. If I, like, went, went from this dirty bit to the clean bit, like, leave, um, sort of mud tracks, I could see that working. Um, but, I mean, it depends on their vision for the game. I think it is just, their vision is just to make a chilled out game about power washing, make it satisfying, rather than more the taskings, more, you know, more of a chore. Um, and I can totally understand that, and probably agree, to be honest. I'd prefer it to be a more relaxing one. I have more options, certainly, but yeah, having to worry about where you're standing and things like that might just be a little bit too much. But there you are. Can we switch to a... Uh... Yeah, we can probably switch to this. I'm just going at standard walking pace, as opposed to the non-standard pace. don't know what that would be. Just to see yeah, if it's effective. I'm just going to work on this side as well. There we go. Maybe just a little bit slower. And then that driveway getting cleaned. Very nice indeed. There'll be little bits left over, yeah, as you can see, but that's alright. Every time I clean this now, I'm thinking of the time lapse. Like, ah, oh, what what's time lapse going to look like? You know, do I. Do I clean the house from like the left to the right to get a really nice time lapse, or do I go and do what I've done here, which is uh, clean, like say, the windows and the doors first? It obviously matters not in the grand scheme of things. Let's 
see a bit of like spraying up there. It'd be nice if that actually hit some surfaces and made it a bit cleaner. But then again, would you want that? I don't know. It's been an early access. We don't know what's coming. Any changes, additions, improvements, whatever. Abandonment. Total abandonment of the game. <laughs> Developers cease to exist. Who knows? Hopefully not that. And it does say driveway, but I think it also includes this path, does it? Yeah, it also includes this path as well. That's coming to treat that. Some of this we've already done and caught bits of it. So just cutting in around there. See, I'm cutting on the bricks as well, because it seems to be cleaning up quite nicely with this nozzle. So there's no reason not to. Give a little spray there. I believe we'll have to do the guttering as well. The driveway here needs cleaning. Uh, what? Use the long nozzle. Oh yeah, all along there, which I've missed. I'm guessing it's going to be the same over here and maybe over here. Ah, bricks clean. I bet it's this corner. Yeah. Oh yeah. Straight across and ting driveway nice and clean right um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go around nah so that one there that was the 40 percent if we go with the 25 that's getting almost all of it yeah i'm gonna stick with the 25 is the bungalow roof. Hmm. That's why they call it a bungalow, because the bungalow roof on it. No, 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 not allowed, not allowed. <laughs> mm, right, get up to the top there. I'm just trying to clean the main wall here. Is that two different walls? It is two different walls, it says, yep. Yeah. Oh, that'll go all the way up to there, right, fine, 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 fine. And work our way along. Is that gutter? Oh yeah, guttering. Right. What I'm going to do is get this post done. And yeah, and then I think I'll clean this wall. And I'm also going to clean the guttering. Is that wall cleared? Clean this guttering. Then it means that like a lot of this house part here is, is this front section is done. I will have to go up there though. Um where's my ladder? My ladder's here. So I'll pick this up and I'll put it uh, I'll put it here. And then we'll clean the guttering from inside out. I mean, can't exactly do it outside in, so a bit of a redundant statement. There's that gutter. People asking if you can do all sorts of art. Yeah, I mean, let's go ahead. There you go. <laughs> and obviously there's other things you could potentially draw as well. So we're going to go back to the ground here and work on this. What's this class does? It just says universal. be tempted to maybe look at cleaning solution. But I'm trying to save the money. Really I'm trying to save the money. So, stick with this one for now. You know, so I'm hitting the roof there as well. It's intentional. And it's coming up a treat, this place. Just a 
still some bits of dirt left. We can obviously go over, need be. And if you swear from that side, you'll get more. Yeah, you get it uh, more spray on it, but it's not as powerful because of the distance and the angle. So, I think attacking it from directly from the front, like that, is the best way of doing it. As you get to the top, so the distance, it's uh, not as effective. Just try and hit that all the way along. There we are. Back up. And this is now half the wall. So it's half the wall, but what's concerning is that even that's half the wall we've done, it's not saying it's... No, no, it is saying about over half. I'm just looking at the, the line. Okay, that should be fine then. Looks like those costs of brick only reach to... only reach on this side of the house so it don't work all the way around and we can probably test that theory by doing this yeah exactly what we thought so once again just working on this part so this is universal because it's Externally rendered or something. At least not using pebble dashing, where they just cover it in stones and bits of s seashell and such. Which is a thing. It really is. Because apparently they wanted the houses to look really bad. And I'm not going to be too precious now because by the time we get this done, that wall will go. Yeah, we hear the ting, and there's the ting. Get that done. I'm going to switch over to 15 degree spray here. Get this post done. Oh, we can't get that post done. There we go. And we'll work on the gut ring as well while we're here too. And right across to there. And that's the bungalow roof. It's going to be post. Just cutting around it. And then we'll do these bricks as well. Because of the 15 degree, you can see it's just very quick to get that muck off. Mm, let's cut his porch. Um, okay, curious. It's not. It's not cleaning it. Let's see if it's just. Yeah, I thought it might be something like that. There we are. Um, we'll go back to this. I think that moves the way forward. See, when you spray like that, the angle's fairly, fairly poor, so we don't get much cleaning. We're on 35%, and I think this will speed up as well because once we're on the roof, it's just a, you know it's a huge, it's a huge slab to do. Get this part of the wall done as well. Not looking forward to cleaning this porch, if I'm honest. Because of these, basically all these, these posts and pillars, and we've seen the uh, 
anguish, heartache and sleepless nights that we've had over that one. Well, it's not too bad. This post. Oh, there's actually post and fence as well. Oh, yeah. So we'll just have to take this fairly slowly and be methodical about it as best we can. Very precise. Uh, we'll work on this side. Oh, oh that, right, okay, there's a, bit, a little bit missing that I hadn't cleaned there. Um, there we are. Let's switch to the 15 degree. Which gives us a bit more... A bit more precision. A bit more power. And... Spread from that side, spread from that side, and there's that done as well. Well, it was actually this wall I was supposed to be doing. So, I'll get back on it. Calvin, Mark keeps messing me. They're getting really excited how it's looking. Sounds like it's going great. Yeah, it is. It's going pretty well. Yeah, that's one thing we don't have. We don't have angry neighbours coming out. What are you working on a Saturday for? Because uh, i got bills to pay and mortgages to <laughs> do and kids to feed and that. How dare you be spraying power washing on a, on a Sunday? This is this is ludicrous. I'm going to call the council, etc. Yeah, don't miss that. Let's try and get this post here. Is. It's really not wanting to be clean. Hmm, it's now wanting to be clean. We've got this wall. I'm sticking with the 15. Please be so. Aggressive with it. Like that. Hold on. I think more speed. Sorry. Yeah, more. More speed, less haste, I think, is the right term there, because I did mess it up a little bit. What's that done? Let's get these bricks done as well. Which I think we'll probably have a similar thing to what we had previously. Yeah, that's not done. When it's get close to the ground, I don't know if the... I don't know if the uh, grass is stopping it, but there you are. Porch there, and we'll get the rest of this porch done. Alright. Take the defenders as well. Look all the other side. Okay. And hopefully, the Calvin's parents will be happy about this. Seem quite excited. It's uh, very easy to judge why they've let it go to this state in the past. But we don't know the situation, financial, health-wise, whatever. I mean, they could just be absolutely lazy slobs and just don't really care about the look of the property. Um, that could be the case. Uh, there could be other socio and economic factors in place as well. We just don't know. Either way, our job is to clean, not to criticise. I'm going to criticise the installation of these things because it's really difficult to get in to clean them. That under there. Okay. There we are. There's that fence cleared. Um, right, porch. And uh, we'll probably crouch and cut in here. I don't think it's done anything under there. Yeah, that 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 works. Seems to work quite nicely. And we're on forty-six percent. 
<laughs> the reflections are a bit cartoony. It's almost cell shaded. There's just something about it that just doesn't look. Look at that, yeah. <laughs> the reflections on the things. Yeah, they're not ideal. Not ideal. Let's get this porch done. So no cleaning used at all. Uh, no cleaner, should I say, used at all. Lots of cleaning. Just no cleaner. And as I said, not being overly precious on every little bit of dirt, because as soon as you get it to a certain percentage, it'll clean it up. And there we go. Right. Uh, I'm guessing the porch roof is a similar job. Yeah. So I'll clean. I'll clean this. I'll, I'll clean down here, should I say. I'm not going to clean the actual roof bit yet. I'm not going to go on the roof. So we can get that peak and ridge cap. Yeah, that's quite nice. There's just a couple of bits missing there. I'm using the long handled clip thing, but it's problematic at times. Um, oh yeah, there's a gutter as well that I've totally, totally forgot about. Right. Back over here. So this is porch roof. I'll get most of it clean. But I can, obviously. Uh, I guess if I do it that way. Yeah. There'll be bits missing further down there, but I'll work. I'll go to that side and then work on that as well. So we can tap it from both angles. Like that. Then I'll come over here and do a similar thing. And because of the pressure, and the angle, it's a lot yeah, it's a lot easier to clean that. And we'll do the gear blend. Whatever it is, it's getting cleaned. Alright, so that's pretty much done, I think, that one. I just clean this gut ring. Okay, so we'll worry about the rest of that top bit later on. Let's finish off here. Can use the green nozzle for this. Why does it sound like a really pathetic superhero? <laughs> the green nozzle. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, that's tickled me a little bit. I don't think it's great being a music you're on short, but whatever. Uh, I might have to name the episode The Green Nozzle. <laughs> Artwork will be made of The Green Nozzle somewhere, I'm sure. This is another big wall. Technically probably a little bit smaller than the other one because it's got the window in it, so it doesn't have... Um, you know, it doesn't have that to clean. That's a separate, that's a separate entity. Switching over to the 15 degree here, just to clean that top bit. Pretty easy if I just clean this first. I have to imagine the roof be a bit annoying to clean. Alright, back to the green. And work our way down and around. Doesn't say around 50% yet, which is concerning since we're about to get to 50% of the wall. I know there's bits that we've missed as well. Press tab and you can see there's there are bits there. Even some of this. I could just clean this bricks off first. Is that class the same? No, the bricks are separate. Down the bottom there. There's the bricks done. Yeah, okay, fine. I guess it's not just surface area, is it? Because there's a lot more dirt down here and multiple layers of different types of dirt and grime to 
to take into account. Can we try a different, slightly different method there? Okay, apparently even Pops is out his rocking chair and having a good look. Okay. I mean, it is devoid of all life, this game, isn't it? We've, well, we've seen the cat, actually. No, the cat, it's not devoid of all life. We've seen the cat. Um, but there's not, like, people wandering around. Judging our work. <laughs> Unfairly. Oh, you've missed a spot. Really? Okay. So the great thing about having a power wash is when someone says you missed a spot, you can either go, Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, fix it for you and spray that. Or you can hand it to them. Or you can accidentally soak the person. Maybe we wouldn't stay in business that long, though, if we were doing that. Let's be honest. Almost finished this now. And a big percentage is going to be that roof. There we go. There's the wall done. Switch to 15 degree. And you spray it. That end piece, yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna clean up and around here. Get this buttering. There we go. Yeah, that's actually fairly decent. I thought there'd be loads of pieces, loads of bits missing, but it seems alright. And once we've done this, I think we will take a little step back and see what the house looks like. We haven't really been doing that. You see there's a lot of overspray for when we cleaned the cleaned the windows and the doors. There's the bricks done. And this wall Oh this is all one piece. Okay. As in, yeah, under there, goes under there, and then down. Right, okay. Don't know until you know, and now we know. It's come together quite nicely. Okay, should we get a bit closer just to increase the pressure? And once we've done this little section, and above the window, that should be that done. Yep, there we go. Right, just the guttering here to do now. So we will... Actually, that's... Bungalow roof. Let's do that. Let's get this guttering done. And... Looks like there's be some rust, I think that was, or something. Unlikely to be rust, surely, because... What, you're going to power wash rust off? I very much doubt it. I guess loose rust. I'm just trying to get those with a spiral in there to 3,000. 5 million. I think that's the majority of that done. Um, I'm going to pick this up and place it there. Because now is the roof job. Okay. Just gonna get this gut ring done. And then we know that pretty much the only thing left is the roof. Unless there's bits I've missed. Oh! Started slipping and sliding there. And... Okay, we're going to have to switch to this. Just to get rid of these bits. So where am I missing? We're all missing. Darn it. Yeah, I thought this gutter might be a bit of a problem for us. No, technically hadn't done that bit down there either. That wall. Oh, because the wall up there. I was going to say. We cleaned it. Of course we cleaned it. Um, it's going to be up. It's going to be up again. Okay. Just have to 
to go for the spiral Spiralinator 3 million. I know the number's changed, and probably the name. Yeah, there we go. Just as I fell off, <laughs> I managed to hit the right bit. Okay, we're going to have a little step back to see what this is like, and... Well, it's a lot better, isn't it? It is a lot better. Alright, well, I think I want to get on the roof. I want to... Third time's a charm. There we go. We're going to clean this. The chimney, which is apparently really mucky. I'll do the ridge there. Probably some birds been sitting on it. And see, can't be smells of dirt and grime on it. Obviously, we're getting all the spray onto the roof, but that's fine. It's all getting cleaned anyway. You can hear the the, no the sound change as well. It does sound like tile. Can't really fault that. Out there. Should have a look around the neighbourhood while we're up here to get a good view. And we're probably going to be arrested for it, but. Let's see. So, this is the neighbourhood. Apparently, very. Well, apparently, a volcano. Okay. Um, that may, <laughs> may account for why this thing is so dirty. But the rest of the houses aren't. So now we're just going to go with lazy again. Right, uh, so I'm going to clean this wall here. This is, I hope, the last section that is needing a clean of the wall. That should be all walls done. And um, while I'm here, I might as well do... All of the bungalow roof bits as well. I'll probably clean the garage roof first. Spring down there. Over here as well. Yep. And. Is that done? And there's that roof as well. Alright. Uh, there's that wall, should I say. Right, let's go ahead and get this roof done. So, I'm going to attempt using the green... I'm going to attempt the green nozzle. See if we can use the green nozzle for, for this job. Seems to work quite well. I don't think the 40 degree... Oh no, the 40 degree is working well. I mean, it's some. It, there will be some bits that it just will not be very good at. Yeah, that that green mildew stuff. But if we're just working on the majority of it here, yeah, that cleans it up quite nicely. And then we come back with the more with the higher pressure nozzle. I'm guessing the device is the same pressure, it's just the different nozzles obviously changing the... Oh, good grief, is it? Oh, this is all one... Oh, it is all one roof. Bungalow roof. Yeah, it's just all one roof. Okay. Let's... port roof. Get that done. Bit of mildew there. Green. Mm, no, don't think it's don't think it's worth using that white nozzle. Go back to the superhero green nozzle. We'll have to come back with the yellow fifteen degree eventually as well to get that. But we'll try that later. Uh, just turn around. And I have a feeling that even if we clean this roof, we'll have to come back. Uh, so we'll have to jump off the roof to go and clean the uh, to go and clean down below because I think there's bits that we missed as well. Right, up to this, and here we go. 
I see I'm walking really slowly because I'm up going like I'm on this uh, the roof where it's like sloped so yeah that's why that's happening and let's get this ridge it says universal yeah I would have thought they would put in tile or whatever what is that We'll just get the valley. I yeah, think that's what that's called. I'm no roofer. Uh, that's 80% clean and a 4 star. So, we're getting there. And there we are. Alright, very nice indeed. So, let's just work around this chimney and clean here. There's this one mildew. A stubborn muck. Are we on... Uh, yeah, we're on the extra long. And this is going to be a big job now. And we can probably attack it very quickly, actually, like that. No, we're, just, we're missing bits, though. I think it's just a case of patience. Use the right nozzle for the right job and the right speed. Just when looking down that way, it's really difficult to to operate this thing. And about to fall off the roof. Was <laughs> oh, that gutter not done either? No, I haven't done that gutter. I'll have to do the guttering in a minute. Um, oh, that's a better way of doing it, like that. Oh, okay, well, that's that's the way we're doing it from now on. Like this. Yeah, that's nice. Giving us a nice finish as well, by the look of it. Yeah, there's only tiny bits. Only slight, like, slight small bits of the problems with. I could have done as well. <laughs> Relatively easy, wasn't it? Right, back to this. So let's see if we can use that motion that we've just discovered. Like that. This is... Let me just cut in across. And we've taken most of this off. Some bits near the top that I'm missing, but I can come back for those. Get a little bit closer. No. I'm just go and do that later on. That's fine. You see we're missing little bits as well because of the because of the angle. No dramas. That is one tidy roof. Ah, that's why we're missing it. So actually it wasn't the distance. It was the type of dirt that that was. What am I do? Just clean the ridge. Get the ridge and edges clean. Like that. And then we can just come back later on. And you don't have to mess around too much. There we go. Right, back to green nozzle. You can see with that, really quick now. And there's still bits there, but that's all the bird muck, I believe. I don't know. There is a bit there. Let's just move a little bit slower. But we are on 88% cleaned. So it shouldn't be too long. Let's see another five minutes, maybe, and we'll have it. It's been one of the more interesting ones to do, actually, this. The player part's been the most difficult, certainly. This one, though, it's been a nice little, nice little change. And then we've got one more house. That's minimum. I don't know if any other jobs are unlocked. 
I don't know how many levels are in the game. We shall find out. The addition of the cars and the, the bike and the things like that are pretty good. And then you've got the, the Mars rover, which I, I, I don't <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, this, I could be speaking completely out of turn here, um, but it does feel like they had a Mars rover asset and they went, I should put it in. I mean, that might not be true. I could be making that up completely. It could be falsehood. They could have specifically went and made that, you know, model rover, whatever. Um... But it just seems to be such a strange thing to put in. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, get the rest of this roof done. We're on 92%. I'm just doing the ridge cap again. Uh, doing this first. And the edges here. Obviously, some of it's already been done. Because of where we were spraying. Do all this. Just trying to work it up like that. That's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then across this ridge cap. There we go. I think that's about done. There's a little bit. I'm not concerned myself too much over that. Right, let's uh, crack on with this. I think what we'll do is we'll stand about midway on the roof. Maybe a bit further. Forward. Like that, and then we can sort of like work up on the roof, like that, and then once we've done that, we'll spray down. Well, this has already been hit by a little artwork, so we don't have to do all of it, and it's, a lot of it's just general. Sort of dust and dirt rather than caked on grime and filth. Don't want any filth around here. Getting rid of it all. It's going to be clean as the neighbours' houses. Although we don't know what it's like on the inside. That's another game. And obviously we'll have to come back to the mildew at the top. That's fine. 96%. And no cleaner uses all. I've not bought any cleaner. Switch over that. Good. And then just work our way down. I have a feeling that we'll get near the end of the roof. And it'll just be like, yep, yeah, clean, done. <laughs> I assume this is the last bit to clean. Unless there's like a bit of guttering or something that I've missed. We will see. Probably just a bit of... Probably just the roof. Let's see, I'm actually leaving bits as well. Because I have a feeling it's going to be... Once we get to the end, this is just going to be classed as clean anyway, so... Well, my sensibility and they have to come back and <laughs> do the other bit. It's like, no, I can't leave that. That's just... It's lazy. I have to be thorough. But I think that big green patch is going to disappear. <laughs> yeah, disappear. Uh, so there is a bit There is a bit that I uh, have not done. So press escape, have a quick look at the details. We can see that the gutters, three or four. So there is a gutter that I have not cleaned. And it is going to be this one. Yep, that one there. So, Spiralizer, 6 million. And... Job complete. Alright. And there is the time lapse. <laughs> you can see, there's not much progress there. Um... Because <laughs> we were in the back of the house. The bungo looks amazing, Doc. Thank you. Uh, you won't believe the impact it's had. Mam's down the woods picking flowers and popses, muttering excitedly about another job he's got for you. So if you hear from Leonard Mil Miller, that'll be him. Continue. 
All right, so we only have uh, one other property. We've got 1,415 generic units of currency. That's 30 stars, and we have this uh, remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Power Washers and buy... Oh, if I buy a medium duty... Ah, that might not be the way to go, because buying the medium duty will mean I then have to buy all of the equipment for it, like the nozzles and such. So, that would be these things. So, it is 75, 75... Oh no, which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, it's called the Urban XU2. And we have 75, 125... 250 and then 375 so actually we don't really have the amount of cash we need for everything so we're probably going to go into this next level here with our standard one that we've just used this one i know is quite a difficult job but there might have been changes from the from the previous demo. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Hope you have enjoyed it and it's been a bit of a chill one for you. Um, we are going to also maybe look at this Mars rover. I don't know if you... Oh, it doesn't let you get any cash from it, so... No, there's no real point in that one. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. Hopefully, that's been an enjoyable one and a chill one for you as well. Um, let us know in the comments what do you think we should do in terms of the buying. I don't know whether we buy that on one or not. I mean, I know I've used a couple of hundred on cleaner, but... We've got everything to the two stars, so I don't know if you can really afford one of these. I really don't know. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.